Happy June 5th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party explored Mudbrook. Uh, we were looking for clues about a key that might fit the strange rock we found last week in the swamp outside of Mudbrook. Mudbrook itself is experiencing quite a drought. We failed to help most of the folks we met, but we did gain a virtue point for sharing a meal with a homeless critter. Ivy's up to four virtue. And we had a good rest at the Barren Barrel Bar and Pub. So we're all healed up, and that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. A tumultuous uproar fills the town square as numerous voices cry out in distress. The town's mayor, an imposing crocodile, steps forward to address the crowd. It is unfortunate that our freshwater well has ceased to flow, but I urge everyone to maintain their composure. We will find a solution. Your attention is drawn to the mayor's scepter, which intriguingly resembles a key. <laughs> I'll say. Uh, that's some excellent artwork there. The artist is Miguel Pineda. I hope I said that right. Good job, Miguel. Um, there is a pickpocket icon on this page. So the way I handle that is Disco um, meanders off through the crowd and comes back with... Oh, dear. That was loud. Sorry. Let's do that again. Three. Three amber. <laughs> Uh, we don't know where it came from, so there's no way to return it. Uh, maybe he found it on the ground, under somebody's foot. Who knows? That's 20 amber. Okay. We're going to do a couple of things in order here. Uh, one, help calm the crowd. It's a charisma check. Reminder, persuasive and or intimidating. We are intimidating, uh, but not persuasive, I guess. And two, offer to explore the well. Uh, sure, why not? Another charisma roll. And persuasive and intimidating as well. Okay, let's see how this goes. Help calm the crowd. The atmosphere in the square is thick with panic. Frightened faces look to each other for reassurance, while others shout their frustrations. The mayor's attempt at pacifying the crowd is barely a drop in the sea of unrest. Sensing an opportunity to help, you step forward. Okay, I'm going to roll d20. One. <laughs> One. We boldly step forward, trip on our own shoelace, and <laughs> fall flat in the mud. Um, if you have forceful entry written down from earlier, we do not. Uh, if the result is seven or less, that's us. Your words and demeanor seem to add fear. <laughs> fuel to the fire. Perhaps it was a wrong choice of words or your unfamiliarity that made the crowd more agitated. The crowd begins to erupt in fighting. Roll d20 plus defense. Oh dear. Well, our defense is plus six. So 12 plus six is 18. The result is 13 or more. You get battered and take two damage before the crowd uh, grows calm. We would have taken one more point of damage if we failed that roll. So we're down to 17 from 19. Okay. Um, that didn't go so well. Uh, offer to explore the well. The distraught murmurs of the crowd surround you as you approach Mayor Dulltooth, intent on offering your services to explore the well. Given the well's importance to the town and the mystery surrounding its sudden dryness, this could be a risky but rewarding venture. You muster your best arguments, hoping to convince the crocodile mayor of your sincerity and capability. Okay, here we go. Six, and our charisma is plus two, so that's eight. Intimidating, we get to add, so that's ten. Um... Oh, and there's some other stuff here. If you have Silver Tongue written down from earlier, we do. News of your abilities is spread through town. Gain a plus two to this roll. That gets us 12. And if our virtue is more than two, we get another plus two. So that's 14. That gets us the middle result. If we can get one more point. Uh, 
charisma. That's up to the Baron. Is there any other way to get more points? Uh, okay, well, here we go, Baron. Can you get us one point? It's your time to shine, Mr. Caterpillar. Uh, Baron. Baron Bartholomew von Crawlington IV. If we draw a diamond that is greater than or equal to three from this deck of previously shuffled cards. Here we go. No, it's a three, uh, but it's not a diamond. So no luck there. We take the middle result. I'm just, I just want to see, is there any other way? I don't think we got the middle result. We got to just take it. Okay. One point away. Dang it. Okay, while the mayor is not entirely convinced, he acknowledges your courage and the potential benefit of having an outsider's perspective. You may inspect the well, he says cautiously. If you can fix this problem, we can talk further about the scepter. In the meantime, you can have this for supplies and preparation. And he gives us four amber. Uh, looks like we would have gotten more amber if we'd gotten the better result. But we'll take it. 24 amber. Um, there we go. And I suppose we are headed down the well. <laughs> All right. But that is an adventure for another day. Because that, my friends, is June 5th. So we shall say goodbye for now. And visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.